Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Julie's Orchids. Today's episode is going to be another I Got Gifted New Orchids episode. So I had a good friend of mine, Rob, from the Orchid Society, been struggling with a couple of his orchids and he thought that I would be a suitable candidate to adopt them. So Rob stopped by and he dropped off these two orchids. Now I can say I'm pretty excited about both orchids, but I'm really excited about the second one. The first one we're going to look at is a Phragmopedium, and you know me, I love my frags. And this is Phragmopedium Schroederae. Now I do have a Schroederae already, but this one is Pop Butler, and it has an HCC from the AOS. Um, and he says he's just really having a hard time. It's growing really slow. He doesn't think he's doing things right for it. He said he's had it for a year or so, and it just has hardly grown any new leaves at all. Uh, a little bit of something going on right here with it. We're going to let this one sit around for a bit. He grows indoors, um, and I'll do a repotting on this one later in the week, possibly next weekend. Now, our other little candidate is one I'm very excited about, and that's because these are very hard to come by here in Western Australia. Rob got this one from Tony, who was an Orchid Society member that passed away um, some months ago, and they actually auctioned off his, his um, orchid collection, but Rob got this one from Tony as a gift from Tony before he died, and this is Cloesia Pierre Curet, SVO Candy Apple Red, by Catacetum Melania Davidson Red. Um, and he's got it potted up in some pumice, and there are some roots growing, but this root here hasn't touched pumice, and this one here is, is down in the pumice. I don't like how this is set up. Um, this is very off-season for this new growth to be going on. It should have been leafing out and going into, getting ready to go into dormancy according to our um, seasonal weather. So I'm going to go ahead and repot this one and we're going to hope for the best. Um, but we're putting it into a self-watering setup. I'm just going to take what pumice is in here and move it over into this self-watering setup. And then I'm not going to water it. Um, going to let this go. I'm going to put it in the bedroom by the humidifier. And I think the plan for this one is, because these bulbs here are looking pretty shriveled, I'm going to keep it going. I don't know. I'll probably ask for some guidance on this one. So any idea on what to do when getting a cloesia that's starting a new growth when it should be going into dormancy. So as I mentioned, we are going to do a repot of this one, and I'm just putting it into my, my standard setup. And I'm going to use small pumice to fill the bottom of the pot. Uh, there's styrofoam in the bottom of this one. I don't like that. Most of the other roots in there are dead, and I think I think we're going to be okay with this repot with the length of these roots. Um, those roots there are already touching pumice, so our fingers are going to be crossed that I don't just absolutely kill this plant, but I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with its water needs in that setup. So I'm just trying gently to remove these pieces of styrofoam because I don't like having it in my pots. Um, just these big chunks, the littler pieces of the bark and stuff, I'm, I'm just going to leave on. I'll address that whenever I come time to repot this again. Now, these are old roots, and I'm assuming they're going to be dead. New roots are coming, so again, I'm not super worried about it. But I don't want these big chunks of styrofoam. Okay, so I hope you guys can see that I didn't fill the pot all the way up to reach the growing root tips. I didn't do that because this pumice is damp, and I really want those roots to grow down and into this pumice. Um, this pumice should dry off within the next day or two. I'm not anticipating that these roots that are growing are going to grow that much, um, but there are some roots that may or may not be viable from the old pseudobulbs. And I'm hoping that any of the moisture in 
the pumice will activate those roots and maybe help get this growing on. But that's it. This is all the more we're going to do with this for today. And again, that's our repot of this plant here. And again, I'm putting the um, name badge in, in the back where the holes are so I know where the holes are at. This makes it easier when it comes time to water. Well, there you have it. More new orchids at Julie's Orchids. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. A subscribe would be nice. And everyone have a happy, healthy day. Bye.